So how have you been spending your summer vacation? Well, a bunch of students in Rochester Hills spent their time crafting some unique learning experiences. They've been working in what's called an innovation lab. Our Paula Tupman stopped by to get a look at some pretty impressive projects. So this was not about adults telling kids what to learn. This was really about kids telling adults what they wanted to learn and, and then empowering them to do so. Charting their own way, right? Did I get that right? Yes. Yeah, and what they came up with, the imagination, the creativity, the ingenuity, is absolutely mind-boggling. A regular potato is 0.5 volts. If you boil it in water, it's five volts, so it's more volts. Did you know you can create electricity with fruits and veggies? Citric acid inside the lemon releases the electrons in the zinc, and the copper has a strong pull, so it travels towards the copper. We have wires connecting, and then slowly, to, and then this LED will light up. And there's such a thing as good algae. Because it produces more oxygen than trees. These are just some of the projects middle schoolers came up with for the Innovation Lab, the Rochester Community School District's answer to summer camp. They really look at both global and local issues and see how they can find something they're passionate about to help solve one of these issues that we have. Camilla wanted people to learn more about cystic fibrosis. Whether you were just diagnosed with a disease, whether you want to learn more about it, your family member has it, anything you need to learn, it's going to be here. Olivia wanted fellow students to understand the dangers of drugs so she built a computer game. This is a game basically learning about how to not do drugs and also like the side effects of them. Completely grant funded for the last two weeks, 60 students from the district's four middle schools gathered to learn and innovate the things they are interested in. We had a personal connection to this in India. So some places and villages that don't have electricity, like my, my grandparents. They created websites, video games, care packages to travel across the globe. So we wanted to help them, so we were making that kit over there. So that will be, we will be finding an organization that will send those kits to places that don't have electricity so they can at least find a little bit light to do stuff. So. They created, innovated, and learned for the sheer fun of creating, innovating, and learning. This might become uh, another way to power electronics. Wow, you know, this was more amazing than I had time to show you. By the way, Damon, welcome. Welcome to Channel 4. Listen, here's the thing. This was the last day. Tonight they do their big presentations where they actually get to show and teach their parents and their teachers instead of just learning. So very, very, very cool. What did you do for your summer vacation? Yeah, well, I moved here, Paula. <laughs> you know, good to see those students immersed. <laughs> Yeah, We're good to glad see to have you. Oh, I appreciate it, Paula. And good to see those students immersed in STEM and using their summer wisely. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Thank you so much, Paula.